In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I mean, um, we are very happy for the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we all rejoice, and we all celebrate the great feast. But one question today, very quickly, What is the sign of the resurrection in your life? What is the sign of the resurrection in your life? Christ is risen. The whole world is saying Christ is risen. Yes, yeah, some are not, but most of the world saying Christ is risen. Very good. But is he risen for you? You know, when our Lord Jesus Christ been risen, it was the first sign of his resurrection was what? was what? Was when the Marys were going there to the tomb to anoint the body and When they arrived to the tomb, an angel came and moved the stone, moved the stone. The big stone on the tomb being moved. There was a big earthquake and the stone being moved. And the Marys found empty tomb, empty tomb. The story of the stone is an old story. When man sinned, God cursed the earth. God cursed the earth and said to Adam, thorns, thorns, and thistles, it will bring forth for you, till our Lord Jesus Christ has come. And if you notice there, he took these thorns from the earth. He took this curse from the earth, from the stones. And this stone which has been bringing forth stones became a living stone. Stones don't talk, don't, it's dead, don't move. But here in the resurrection, the stone being moved. The stone being moved and the Lord being risen. The first sign in the resurrection of our lives is a living stone, a moving stone. The stones of our sins moved. We all have some struggle with a problem or another. Big stone, 
making us in tombs. The first sign of the resurrection moving that stone. So the first sign moved the stone. No more a stone is holding us in our tombs, holding us in our sins. It's moved, moved. And where is the sin? It's empty tomb. It's gone. It's not there anymore. Because the Lord has carried all our sins, has forgiven them, and threw them in the ocean of forgiveness. The second thing, when our Lord Jesus Christ been risen, he was risen with the wounds, with the same wounds on the cross. It's the same body. He said to his disciples, touch me, hold me. Spirit do not have flesh and bones. I am the same one. And look, it is, I have still the wounds in my hands, in my, in my sight. I still have the wounds. I still carry the wounds, though I am risen. So the second thing in our lives, to have wounds and do what? And resurrection. Wounds and joy together. No one say, if Christ loves me, he would not left me to suffer. No. He made our suffering is a glorious wounds. Glorious wounds. If we suffer with him, to be glorified with him. So the second sign of the resurrection is wounds and joy. Wounds and joy. You don't grumble. You thank the Lord for the wounds, which will bring forth glory. Third, third thing, when Mary's went in the tomb, yeah, they didn't only found an empty tomb, but they found the shroud. The shroud where it carries what? It carries all the images of Christ, all the image of Christ. So the third design for the resurrection in our life is to have his image. If he is risen, he left his image on you. And this image, everyone can see it. Everyone can see it. I remember um, there was a missionary going to somewhere and the boat was drowned and he had to go to a place where he didn't know the language. But this evangelist kept serving these people, loving them and helping them 
till he grew up and became old and passed away. Years after, a mission came to this place and started to talk to them about Christ. When they started to talk to them about Christ, they told them he was here. Christ was here. We have seen him. We have touched him. We know him. We believe in him because we experienced him. So the third sign of the resurrection in our lives is the image of Christ in you. Everyone sees Christ in you. And the last one, when Mary came in, she found two angels and they said to her, why do you look for the, li the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Go and tell his brethren. Go and tell his brethren. The fourth sign for the resurrection of our life is your witness to him is your witness to him. Are you talking to everyone about the risen Christ? Are you bringing the good news to your colleagues and the friends? Are you really going to everyone and saying, I have seen him, he is risen? Let us repeat them again. The first sign is what? Moving stone. The stone has moved. The stone of our sins has moved. Second one, empty tomb. Empty tomb. The third one is removing the wounds and the resurrection. The wounds would not deprive me from the joy. The suffering together at the same time. And the last one is our witness to him and founding his image in our lives. And everyone is looking at you and rejoicing as he sees Christ in you and you are witnessing to him by your life. May the our Lord Jesus Christ be risen always in our lives, in our children, in our families, in our friends, in our colleagues, in everyone around us. Glory to God forever. Amen.